Hello and welcome to the link to feed training series. This video is going to discuss how to run an export, which can help you look a little closer at the data that has been entered into link to feed in any particular time frame. An example where an export might be helpful is if you run a report and find that your TFAT box numbers are in decimals and you want to find out where this issue occurred, how many times, or maybe which user recorded it in decimals so that they can be corrected a little bit. So for this example, I'm starting on the dashboard of the test site, and I'm going to use the left-hand navigation pane to click Administration Exports. And here's an export I did not too long ago, but if we are starting fresh, I'm going to come up to the corner and click New Export. And we're going to want to create a new Visit Export, so click that blue button again. And so this is the page that will let you select all the information that you're interested in looking at. The first thing it will have you do is accept responsibility for the information that you are removing from link to feed. It does tend to be the information that's more personal, like names, birthdays, phone numbers, stuff that's typically protected a little stronger um, in regards to being safely stored. And so you will have to check this box to accept responsibility for the information. Then you can select the date range for the info you are looking for. One thing to keep in mind about exports is that you can only view information if a visit has been associated with it. So for example, if in the month of May, you created 10 new profiles, but you didn't record visits. They will not appear on this export. But if you created 10 new profiles and also recorded 10 new visits, then they will appear on an export. So you can select any date range depending what you are looking for. It might be useful to do a full calendar month or if in this example, the test site doesn't have a whole lot of information in it, I'm just gonna do a couple weeks worth. And then you select the organization that applies to you. So again, if you do have that CSFP access, you can select either option or both, depending what you're looking for. But most of you will only have that UFB TFAP option. So go ahead and select what applies to you. The program types will pull information correlated with program visits. So if you're wanting to look at everything and anything that you did in that month or that time frame, you can select all. But if you're really trying to pinpoint that box number, like in the example I started with, you can look at TFAP visits only and that will narrow it down a bit. But if you only do TFAP, you will only have information in that one section anyway. So up to you depending on how your organization operates. The rest of the options are various pieces of information that you can select based on your interest or your need. I usually recommend checking client ID because if you do pinpoint something odd or something that needs a correction, you can then use that client ID number to find the profile and make the adjustment rather than trying to figure out which profile needs the change. I also recommend first and last name. And there are lots of options here. You can look through those at your leisure. Often address, city and county can be helpful. Another good thing to get in the habit of looking at is household size. This can help you determine if that equitable distribution rule is being followed. So for example, you can look down your list and make sure that a household of five is receiving two boxes and a household of 10 is receiving three and so on. It's a good way to double check your distribution. Visit information, if you want to see which user recorded visits, you can check recorded by. And if you want to find that box number, check foods provided. So you can find out how that TFAT box was entered with the visit. And then it gives you the option to look at similar information for individual household members. 
but once you have the information you want selected, you can go ahead and click export. And often it takes a few minutes to collect all the information. If you click on the link, it will give you your download options when it's ready. Since this is the test site, it was ready quite quickly, but if you do have a month's worth of distribution data that you're trying to look at, it might take a few minutes. So I usually download in Excel, and I actually downloaded this earlier, so I have it open right here. And so in this example, there was only one visit in the time frame. So every box that you checked gives you a column in Excel and lets you look individually at the information. So you can have the visit date and all the boxes that we checked. Here's the example where you can look at the household size and the number of boxes received. So this looks correct. The household size of two got one box. But if, for example, instead of 1.0, this TFAT box number said 0 0.01, it got that decimal point in there. This would be an example where you can use the client ID to go back to the profile and edit that visit to make it a whole number and ultimately make your data more accurate. So when it comes to reporting time, there aren't any discrepancies.